More and more of my prop builds include electronics, so I figured it was time to finally sit down, build myself a state-of-the-art soldering workstation. Hey there, fellow maker. Welcome down to the shop. Bill here, and today I'm going to give you a short tour of the new soldering workstation that I built. I've been doing more and more electronics work lately, and I figured I owed it to myself to build a workstation that was safer and more efficient at soldering. So follow along. I'll show you how the whole thing went together. Here's the workstation in all of its finished glory. The main purpose of this workstation was to A, be safer, have these big old fans here for extraction to get fumes away from my face, and B, be more efficient. So I have all of the tools that I need for soldering right at my fingertips. It's also all on this base that I can pick up and take with me if I need to bring it somewhere else in the shop. Here on the back you can see, there's our giant fans, and then I have a power strip down here with the soldering iron and the lights and fan plugged into it. So I can turn on or off everything with just one switch. The soldering iron here is just secured with a rod that I drilled down into the plastic top. That top is a piece of plastic that I drilled into a box. This is just half inch plywood and a little bit of a box that I put together using my table saw. There are of course handles to make it easier to lift and carry. One of the features I'm most proud of is what's inside the box. I have a drawer here. There's a couple screws to keep it from coming all the way out. And inside this drawer, I have all of my heat shrink tubing, or at least the sizes I use the most. To shrink my shrink tubing, I've got a lighter in here, plus some other various tools that I use with my soldering. I also have my flux in here whenever I need to use that. And built into the side of the box here is a razor blade that is safe. I'm not going to cut myself on it. And I can take a piece of heat shrink tubing and run it down over that to cut it to length. This way I'm not scrambling for a pair of scissors or a knife to try and cut my heat shrink tubing. It's all right where I need it. On top of the workstation here, I have a magnet tray so that I can throw little pieces that will stick in there and I won't lose them. Of course, there's the soldering iron here and a spongy thing here to clean off the tip of my soldering iron as I work. This is just taped down to the soldering iron with some VHB tape. Next, of course, we have these helping hands and these are just some things that I purchased that are really awesome for holding your wires and other delicate electronic pieces. Now I did try and 3D print my own. It did not go well, so I just splurged the 40 or 50 bucks and got these, they're really nice. However, I did modify them. So this arm down here has wires that run down through the base and to the back of the box. Those wires are hooked up to this 12 volt automotive LED ring. Now this burns hotter than the surface of the sun, so I backed that up with a little piece of foam so it doesn't shine too far back into my eyes. And that light is attached to this switch here so I can turn it on and off as I need it. You can see that provides quite a lot of light. What's cool about this ring is since I film everything, I can point my camera through the ring and get a perfectly lit shot of whatever it is that I'm soldering. Behind the helping hands is my wall of fans. These are also 12 volts. I did everything 12 volts so I could run it all off of one 12 volt wall wart plug. The grill on the front of this is just eighth inch MDF. I use my laser cutter to cut out this really cool looking pattern here. And then everything else gets attached to it, including some 3D printed brackets down at the bottom to hold it upright. And then I also 3D printed the switch housings here so that I could get all my wires tidy in there. And of course on the back, I 3D printed a little junction box to keep everything nice and clean. I wanted to make sure that this thing had everything I needed to solder. So I built a bracket here out of a piece of aluminum that's got some screws driven through it to hold my solder, red and black wires, and various other odds and ends that I'll need while I'm soldering. Plus, of course, you need to have your wire strippers ready to go at all times. In the back here, I've got a hunk of solid sal ammoniac. This stuff is used to retin the end of your soldering iron. Uh, it is, of course, toxic. So having it right next to the fan so it blows those fumes away from your face means I won't be breathing that stuff in. And I think that's just about it. This thing is gonna make soldering way faster, way safer, and most importantly, I'm never gonna lose all the stuff I need to solder. It's all right here, and it can travel with me. 
And that's a tour of my little soldering station. I'm super stoked to start using it, but I'm also excited to hear what you have to say about it. Are there any features that I missed? Is there anything I could add to this thing to make it even more useful or efficient? If you have any ideas, please let me know down in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, let me know too. I'll do my best to get back to you. As always, all of the tools and materials that I use to build this guy here, those will be linked down in the description. That's just about it for today. Thank you so much again for checking out my video and hanging out with me in the shop. I'll see you in the next build. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.